It's not just books, but they got they got music. And look back there, Mr. Cameraman. Uh, Jason is uh, enjoying a few of the samples. He's a little weird. Let's go somewhere else. Hi, uh, we're here in the kids section. Well, come over here. I'm going to interview this girl who works here. What's your name? I'm Amy. Hi. Hi, Amy. What's what's going on? Not much. Just doing a customer order. Okay. Uh, is this like the kids section? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, what kind of books do you have? Um, we have all sorts. We have fiction, nonfiction, uh, anything you can think of for kids. We pretty much have it. Well, cool. Um, would my like junior hires like this section? Uh, it depends what they're into. Some do, and some consider themselves a little bit older and want the adult books. But most of them would probably like the Barney I books and stuff. I think. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I think there's pretty much something for everyone. Okay. So. Well, well, you see, they got they got they got all kinds of stuff here, and and just go ahead and pan around and take a look of what they got here, uh, Mr. Cameraman. Jason's digging it anyway. All right, let's get. Well, here we are in the the adventure and espionage, you know, spy stuff, sneaky stuff, all that kind of junk that everybody likes. It's it's a pretty cool section. I don't know. A lot of people like that kind of stuff. I'm not really into it, but but over here we got science fiction. So come over here, check some of this out. We got some spooky ones. Ooh. Conan, one of my personal favorites. But they got all kinds of stuff. So you gotta watch out for some of the science fiction stuff. It gets really trippy. Well, here we are in my favorite part of Barnes & Noble, the espresso bar. And this is really cool. And I'm gonna teach you all what you get in an espresso bar. Because, well, I'm from the Northwest and that's where it all started. So just watch and learn, all right? But we got this lady in front of us here. But, but I'm gonna take an order. And uh, first of all, hey dude, what's your name? Mike, my name's Mike. Mike, what's what's going on? Uh, nothing much. I'm, I'm making change for this lady. How long? How, how long have you worked here? Three weeks. Three weeks. But well, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I know everything here. Okay, cool. All right, camera, this is what I want. All right, this this is what you order. All right, I want a non-fat. That means skim milk. Almond mocha. All right, large. Got to be large. Okay. Yeah. Large. He calls it large skinny mocha. All right, you got to go over there and watch him make it though. There you go. For uh, to go, I'll go around the other side, Chris. Excuse approval oh. to have a video. Okay. It was just we're just doing a funny thing on this espresso. Not at all. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, you needed to have called and gotten approval. For I'm sorry. It. Well, we were just playing around. Yeah. Well. Okay. So he can't he can't even show him making any espresso or anything. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to turn that off. Okay. All right. We'll turn it. Go ahead and shut it off. Well, here we are at the Big and Tall store, right here in Louisville, and uh, we're here to find out what's, what's going, going on at the Big and Tall store. Come on in, let's go see what's happening. Wait. All right, here we are at the Big and Tall store, and uh, we we talked to the manager, and she said that we could talk to her because she's a really nice lady. So, so come on back here. They got they got a lot of different clothes and different things that that uh, that you can wear. And here's the manager. What what's your name, ma'am? My name is Sandra. My name is Sandra. Sandra. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, let me ask you. I gotta ask you one question. Okay. What if a small, short guy comes in? Can you put clothes on them? Well, we do. All right, let me you ask know, you. the guys that like to wear them down below, you know, and with suspenders and big, and you can see their underwear, they come in here. Well, look at this guy. You got anything that would fit a skinny guy like this? No. Nothing? Nothing. Pro well, unless he wants to wear them real big. Nothing we can size rest. 32 waist? Uh, no, no 32s. Okay. Okay, well, let me ask you this. 
What is the biggest guy you've ever seen? The biggest guy I've ever seen. He's pretty good. Pretty good size. We could wrap around uh, Whitey. That big guy about four times around him. Let's okay. put it that way. Where's your biggest pair of pants? Biggest pair of pants. All right. Uh, let's go this way. Come right this way, cameraman. Watch out. You don't kill yourself walking. You can get in. Okay. We'll, we'll have Jason try on a pair. Okay. All right. Here you go, Jason. Here, here they Hold I them up. I imagine you and Jason both could get into this. Hold, hold them up, Jason. Let's see. You know, we have a friend. His name's uh, Sean Robinson, <laughs> and, and we might have to send Sean up here. Poor Sean. No, we're just, we're just, we, Sean, we love you, and he's about the same size as me, so we're just playing. <laughs> All right, so uh, Jason, go try those on. Just pull your okay. shoes off and pull them on over uh, your you pants. Can put them on right here. Okay, just pull them on. Put them on right there. What church is this? It's the North Church. We're from Vision Youth, okay. and, uh, and, oh my God. He's, uh, he's about got them on now. We carry even jeans in this size here. Jeans this big? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I could get in there with you. Yeah. In only three weeks, I lost 450 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Um, well, let me ask you one more question. You bet. Do you ever have, uh, have you ever had somebody so big that you couldn't put clothes on them? You bet. Really? Yes. How much do you think the biggest guy you've ever seen come in your way? Probably about 600. That's uh, that's a lot of man. Yes, that's a lot of man. Okay, now that's a lot of man. Now I told I, I heard you had a, a job opening. I do. Hey, listen, I'm always looking for the greatest of the greatest for salespeople, and I'm not prejudiced. Men and women, we can do it. Boys and girls. Well, there. Hey, let's be outgoing. Outgoing. I got it. Well, there you have it. Hey, you need a job? This is the place for you at the Big and Tall store. I wanted to look at one more thing. You know, if a guy weighs that much and he has to have a belt to go clear around him, that's got to be a monstrous belt. So I had Jason go and pick one out. <laughs> How tall are you, Jason? I'm a six foot one. That's a six foot one belt. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what size you are, they got a belt for you. <laughs> All right, Chris, you ready? Well, it's not just big, but it's tall. And I mean, I'm six two. This dude has to be, what, seven foot? Uh, six five, six five, six six. Seven foot, I couldn't, I couldn't fit anybody that. Do you ever have anybody that big come in? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I heard Manute Bowl shops here, <laughs> or a uh, shack. No, just kidding. But that's some pretty long pants. Well, thank you so much. You've been you a great bet. sport. We'll see. You bet. Have fun. All right. All right. Here we are at uh, Famous Footwear in Louisville, and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna find out. What's going on? Okay. All right, here we are. We're inside uh, Famous Footwear. Here's one of the guys that works here. What's your name, sir? Ryan. Ryan, I got one question for you. What the heck is famous about your footwear? Um, the brands and the styles and the prices. Okay, so it's not like there was ever anybody famous who brought their shoes and said, can you sell my shoes? Well, we carry some famous athlete's shoes, but nobody famous came and said, here, sell my shoes. But they're not like their shoes, really? No, no, not. Oh, okay, well, I was thinking maybe I could get a pair of old uh, Shaq's old tennis shoes or something. No. Well, let me ask you something. You got all kinds of brands in here, right? You got Nike and New Balance and all kinds of stuff. Well, what are the dorkiest shoes you carry? Dorky? You want dorky? I'll show you dorky. All right, we're going to check these out. No teenager would ever be seen dead wearing these shoes. These are the Air Bob Doles, and they're the dorkiest shoe we've got. You know what? I'm going to have to agree with you. But you know what? I think I saw a, a, a Sean wearing a pair of those. Well, I think... Uh, some teenagers have come in secretly and bought these. They were wearing disguises, but I've seen it happen. Well, they're pretty nice. I know that I like it. Well, thanks, man, for letting us know what's yeah, going no on problem. in your store. We'll see you. All right. Well, we're in here at Slosky's to find out what's, what's going, going on. on. And uh, one of our own uh, North Church members is up here ordering. She didn't know we were here, but we're going to go check it out. Come on. What are you ordering? I'm ordering the lowest fat thing, which there aren't many. Small Dijon chicken breast on wheat. What? Oh. Diet drink. 
A diet drink? Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to check and make sure that your sandwich is good, okay? okay. Where, are you going to sit? You're going to eat in? Yes, I am. Okay. Do you come here often? No. Okay, great. Well, we're going to check up on her in just a second. Come over here. All right, cut. We're just playing. It was, I'm a youth pastor. I'm just doing a goofy video, all right? Okay. Is that all right? I'm not going to bother you. I don't want to bother you while we're Okay. Okay. All right, here, here we are at Slosky's, and I have no idea who these people are, but but uh, how's your sandwich? It's good. Okay, what's your name? Lisa. Hey, Lisa. So, uh, have you ever eaten here before? Yes. Is this like your favorite place? Yes. It's your favorite place. What are you eating? Uh, original. Is it good? Yeah, it's real good. <laughs> Is it healthy? Um, so-so. <laughs> Would you wish that'd go away? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're just seeing what's going on. See, well, back here is where they make the sandwiches. How y'all doing? Hey, pretty good. How are yourself? I'm doing good. What are you making? Uh, everything and everything. Really? Do you uh, like making sandwiches? Uh, it's something new, something different. He's going to talk on the microphone. What'd you say? He's all nervous now. You got to talk to this guy. 177. 177. All right. 177 is right here to get your sandwich. Come on up here, ma'am, and get your sandwich. Thanks. It's the best sandwich you'll ever get, man. All right. Let's go back over here and see if these guys got their food yet. <laughs> Wait, that's me. Okay, go get your sandwich because we're going to It is not. That's what he said. All right, we're here with another member of the North Church. He did not know we were going to be here. And uh, we just follow people around. But uh, what'd you order? The deluxe original. Would you like me to taste this for you? Sure, Scott, go right ahead. This, it's a deluxe original. I'll tell you if it's okay. It's really good, but I think I got backwash on your sandwich. Probably so. But it's great. <laughs> Do you eat here all the time? Uh, every now and then. Good. She's got some soup, too. Chicken gumbo soup. Chicken gumbo. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, enjoy your meal. We We're going to leave you alone now. All right, bye. bye. All right, we're here at Slotsky's Deli. It's freezing out here, but we're here to find out what's, what's going, going on. on. Let's go see. Come on. Well, here we are standing outside of the Barnes & Noble at the Vista Ridge Mall, and this is our first uh, ever installment of our new little uh, segment we're going to start, and uh, you're really going to enjoy it. But we're here at Barnes & Noble, and we're going to find out just what's, what's going, going on. on. Let's go see. Well... We just went into Barnes & Noble, and uh, they have a manager there who just, uh, well, she's not a very nice lady, and she kicked us out and said that uh, we couldn't videotape in her store. So we'll go to some other stores and see what they can do, and, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And uh, anyway, she wasn't real nice, but we had fun. But Person. I said, eventually, and the other thing I want to do is I want to go, we'll go and interview kids somewhere and ask them questions like, who do you think God is? And then, oh, you wouldn't believe some of the goofy things I've come up with. I think he's a cosmic force. Someone back there. 